welcome to my channel. Today we are doing another mod review, um, which I'm sure you could tell by the title here. Um, but we're going to be going over the UI Cheese Extension mod, and we will also be going over the More Create a Sims, uh, More Create a Sim Columns mod. It's kind of a mouthful, but it's a beautiful mod. It's definitely worth getting. Um, if even if that's the only mod you get, it the More Columns in Create a Sim is literally one of my must-have mods. Like, I don't know if I could really play The Sims without it. It's a fantastic mod. Um, I do not currently have my mods installed at the moment, um, just in case, um, I doubt it, but just in case you don't know what it looks like without that mod in there, the UI Cheats extension mod, I can't really show you much. Um, Essentially, with the way that it works, you essentially click around on like the needs, you can click on moodlets, you can click on the money, and you get all sorts of different things that pop up. Um, and we'll go over all that in, uh, in that. Um, let's go ahead though and hop into Create a Sim. And just in case you don't know, all I did was hit shift and then click on the sim and it, the, wa the mod, or not the mod, oh my god. The uh, <laughs> the wheel popped up, and if you're wondering why he only has two traits, it's because we tested another mod, the si the sober and alcoholic traits, and he had one, and uh, I kind of took the mod out, so he doesn't have that trait anymore. So anyway, but in case you don't know, this is what it looks like normally, and I understand why it's built this way. It's built this way in case um, your resolution isn't that great, you can still get both columns on your screen. In fact, um, let me pull up the, let me pull up the mod itself. What is it? Uh, more columns in Create a Sim. All right, so it says that, um, warning, if your game resolutions is, game's resolution is too low, the UI might be cut off by the screen. Don't recommend using the three column flavor if you have, if your resolution is lower than 1280 by 720. So if your resolution is, I don't know, say 960 by 680 or whatever, or I'm not quite sure how that plays out, um, then it's definitely not for you. You definitely want to keep the two columns. Otherwise, there's a good chance that you'll end up getting cut off. Um, the four column flavor is designed for uh, resolutions higher than uh, uh, 1600 to 900. So to get the three column one, it's best to have a resolution somewhere between 1280 by 720 and 1600 by 900. I currently am running at nine, I think it's like 918 by, <laughs> by, uh, um, oh, what's it called? I think it is the 1920 by like 1018 or whatever. Um, it's slightly lower than the 1080p. Um, and it's mostly just because of the way my screen actually fits, um, but it does still work out just fine for me. Um, it says that if you also do have cats and dogs, you may need a higher resolution in order to get all columns and create a pet. So with that in mind, you can see here that there is clearly only two different, um, only two different columns here, which is honestly like one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, I can't, I can't do this. I don't know how anybody does this. This is so freaking crazy. Maybe we'll give him, a, like, a, an outfit change here. Because look how long that scroll wheel is. Oh, my God, Sims, you're killing me. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's better than how it worked in The Sims 3, where it would just take forever to load everything. I mean, this is a better option, to be fair. Uh, why don't we give him this nice uh, shirt here from... Uh, cool kitchen stuff, I believe. Oh, we'll give him some new pants while we're at Oh, those are the pants he's wearing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, no, we don't want him in blue jeans. He's already in a blue shirt. Um, I don't know. Let's pick a... Oh, seasons. Here we go. Oh, those are... No, those are hideous. Just kidding. Uh, there we go. Now he's got a new outfit. All right, so this is Todd Parsons' new everyday outfit. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I am going to go ahead, reinstall my mods, and then we will go ahead and go over both the more columns in Create a Sim and the UI Cheats extension mod, and we'll go over them both um, in a slightly separate portion of the video. So if you definitely want to hit, if you definitely want to skip ahead to that, the time will be right down below. Um, but I will see you guys on the flip side.
Alrighty guys, I am back, and I do have both mods currently installed. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, hop back into Creative Sim, and I will go ahead um, and show you exactly what it looks like. Um, you'll see that there's going to be quite a bit of differences, but it's... it the, Everything looks exactly the same, but personally, I think that the uh, buttons up at the top look a lot squished when you only have the two. But here we are! Here is four columns in Creative Sim. I think it's personally very beautiful. Plus, there's also a lot more room up here, so you are you're less likely to click on the wrong one. Um, and then here, the the dots just spread out a little bit further. Um, just in case you didn't know that button is there, it's just way you can create more outfits in the same type. Um, I say I don't think he has any, but let's go ahead. Let's create a second everyday outfit. Um, if you look, the scroll bar is much smaller than it was before. It is literally half the size, or I guess twice the size. Yeah, I guess that's how that works. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's pick another uh, shirt and uh, pants for him. Um, ooh, why don't we do this kitty sweater? S cute. Oh, we'll do the red one. Why not? Oh, because that's hideous. Never mind. Looks terrible on him. Oh, this one's got a different kitty. Oh, it's got a kitty on the back. It's perfect. All right, let's get him some new pants. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, and these are the cats and dogs pants. Perfect. They go uh, right along with them perfectly. Um, I'm not quite sure why it says I have new items available. Oh, are these, uh... Oh, it's from the holiday pack! Oh, that's so nice! From the new holiday update today. We'll go ahead and give them just some flat shoes, though. Uh, but that's pretty much the basic overlay of the more columns and create a sim mod. It's a very simple mod. But it does amazing things. I do recommend it. Your life will be different. <laughs> it's hard to go back and do just two. I do if if the mod hasn't been like when uh, there was that big mod freakout where everybody started worrying that we would no longer have mods because they changed the programming of the game. Mod creators are some of the most ingenious people I've ever seen in my life, and they will come out the other side doing what they do. And so they did, and a lot of these mods. All these mods I am testing are post that update to the game, so which I'm kind of glad I'm doing now because now I can really truly make sure that every mod going forward is accurate and ready for the game, um, you know. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's hop into the UI cheats extension mod, which is actually officially what it's called. And just in case you didn't know, because <laughs> I'm terrible at mentioning things, the links for both of these are down in that description down below. And they are separated. This way you can tell which one is which. Alrighty, let's go ahead and play with this UI cheats extension mod. So with that, there's a whole bunch of different options. Let me look at the page here real quick for it. Let me pull this up here. So both of these mods, by the way, are both by Weirbasu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but let's see. So the description, this mod enables the UI cheats extension, which allows you to use cheats by directly clicking on the UI as opposed to typing in a command. So essentially anything you can type in a command for, if not more, you can do with this mod. Like that's how easy it is. So let's go ahead and uh, read through here. So the mod includes the following functions. Clickable, draggable, needs cheat. Right click on the needs bar to set the value. Left click on the money counter to gain 1,000 funds. Right click on the money counter to set household funds. Right click on the similar relationship to set friend friendship romance values from negative 100 to 100. Right click on a moodlet to remove the moodlet. Right click on an aspiration goal to fulfill it immediately. Right click on a skill bar to set from 1 to 10. Right click on the in game clock in the UI to set the time. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know people changed the time in their game. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, right click on a character value meter to set the value. Right click on promotion or work from home assignment to complete it immediately. Note that it does not currently work on daily tasks. You still have to do your daily task. You can't just cheat your way through that. Right click on the work school performance bar to set from negative 100 to 100. Right click on any job icon in the career panel to promote or demote your sim. And it has also been updated for Get Famous, so you can right click on Fame or Reputation in the Simology panel to set rank. From 0 to 5 for Fame and 0 to 7 for Reputation. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, we'll play with this a little, a little bit. As soon as I can get situated in my chair. So let's play around with a couple of these. So yeah, if you right click on here, just gives you $1,000. 
So see, now he has uh, one of his goals completed, but if you right click it, or left click it, my apologies, I can't, <laughs> I can't read, automatically completes that aspiration for you. That level of the aspiration, you're good to go. Um, so if you right click on the job, you can promote or demote. It's just a little pop up. Says what you would you like to do? Why don't we promote him in his job? Oh, and he's got some promotion tasks as well. Oh look, he's got charisma level four. Well, actually, he doesn't have charisma level four, but the job thinks he has charisma level four. Um, but if you click on these ones, you can set the skill. Let's let's make him charisma skill level eight now. And uh, maybe, let's see, maybe his wellness is too high. He's worked way too hard on his wellness. Let's take that back down to a three. So this is especially great for storytelling purposes, because then you can just automatically set everything the way that you want it. You don't have to make your sims work for it, which is really convenient. Now, remember how we said that we could right click to get $1,000? If you left click, it says show me the money, use the number keys on the keypad to set your sum only in count. Um, well, they don't need no $7,000. Let's go for three, two, five, five. They have $3,255 now. You can see here, automatically took it away. So, I mean, there's plenty more to do. Um, it's a pretty good mod, especially if you are working on storytelling. Um, because, again, here, look, there's Johnny. We can set our friendship and romance to this sim. So we are currently at two friendship points, but zero romance points. I don't know, maybe he's uh, feeling a little flirtatious. Let's give him 15 points. Now he's got a little bit of a romance bar going there. Now that does automatically, that does change it for the other sim as well. Just keep that in mind. But let's say that uh, he met Eric. Eric's not that nice of a guy. Uh, maybe Eric uh, said some mean things about his sister. So we're going to go ahead and put him at negative 30. See, now he is disliked by this sim. So I don't necessarily use the UI cheats for that or to change the time, which you can do here. Um, input your desired value from 0 to 23, 15 to jump to 3 p.m. Please note that you can only skip time forward. So... It's 8.20 now, so let's go ahead and just set it to 9. There, now it's all ready automatically at 9 a.m. So that's pretty much the good conclusion for that. So it's, are you planning on downloading one of these mods? Do you like these mods? Um, is there any other mods you want me to check out? Definitely leave all that down in the comments below. I always like seeing new mods available out on the market. Um, I know Little Miss Sam's got quite a few mods. <laughs> Might try out a couple of hers at a time. Because she's got a lot. And I mean a lot. Um, but we're going to do a couple more weir basus. I'm, again, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, we're going to check out a couple more of his mods next time. Um, he's got a couple more that I'm interested in. Um, so anyway, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave this right here. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you did like it. This way you can catch more videos just like this one. And all my social media is down in that description box below. So in case, you know, you want to make sure you remind me to check out something, you can always hit me up on Twitter or Twitch. And I also have a Facebook page dedicated straight up to this channel. Um, and we do always uh, live stream on Twitch three times a week now. There is also a Discord, though I haven't been that good about putting it in the description box. Um, if I forgot, please let me know. I'll definitely put it in there. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye!